Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila and today we're going to go ahead and check out these core high chroma watercolors. Um, I don't get two paints very often so uh, let's see if I can get the box open here real quick and I apologize a little for the quality. I'm trying a different setting on my camera. So anyway this particular set has six colors. It does come with this cool little color chart. They have so many colors, they're gorgeous. So anyway, let's check out what we do have here. So, we've got the first one. Looks like that's quinacridone gold. <coughs> oh, this one's easy. Green gold. <laughs> that's one of my favorite colors I'm really looking forward to. This is the cobalt teal. Transparent pearl orange. Hopefully you can read that. This is quinacridone magenta. And dioxazine purple. That looks like it's probably going to be really dark. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my little sketchbook, it's a moleskin, or however you say it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a little, like a swatch chart. I'm trying to decide what information I want to include. I guess just that it's the high chroma, six colors. And let's go ahead. I did make a little palette. This is just using these little half pans and an Altoids tin. So they are magnetic. magnetic inserted here. So let's go ahead and drop that first. Yeah, I'm really, really smooth here. All right, and yeah, that was not easy. So let's go ahead and get our second color. Kind of semi trying to arrange them. I haven't made half pans too often either. In this color, like I said, I was really looking forward to this green gold. Let's get that in there. Yeah. And you've you've got to be kidding me. I, these are brand new. Well, newly opened. And uh, it just squeezed all over my finger. It's from a hole at the back. This is, seriously, this is so, I don't even know. That's a lot of wasted paint. Let's go ahead and try to get that in there. I've just picked up more of the other one too. This is an ooey gooey pigmented mess. Yeah, let's try to clean this off. Get that off of there. It is just all over me. Um, so that's interesting. I haven't run into that too many times before. Now yeah, let's see if we can fix it. Do you see the hole? You probably can. I don't know if I can get this to focus. <coughs> but it's a pretty big hole, actually. And let's go ahead and just take some of my frog tape here. I'm just going to try to cover that up. I really don't want my paint to dry out. It's not going to be pretty. Maybe it'll be functional. Yeah, there we go, function. I cannot believe that just happened. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and try this color I was really excited about, that cobalt teal. It is not exactly what I expected. And this is really, really sticky. Very sticky paint. I can't believe how sticky this is. I guess we'll go ahead and try the swatching, as I mentioned. But now I'm all out of focus. Give me one moment here. Let's try to get this all fixed. Okay, here we are. Yeah, so let's get this let's get this started here. And this is the brownish color. I'm gonna try that out first. That is not what I expected that to look like. It's kind of like almost like a yellowy poopy green. Let's mix that up a little bit more. Maybe I can get more rich color here. Yeah, that, that's more what I expected. Let's try this. I mean, these are definitely a little different. Um, core paints have their own little binder. Uh, they are definitely different than a lot of other paints. I don't know what I expected, really. See, sticky. I'm just not sure about the stickiness. 
I mean, used a lot, like some other two paints, um, various different brands. And they're usually more liquidy, or at least more like when you're squeezing out acrylic paint from a tube, you kind of have that consistency. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move on to that magenta. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that magenta is really pretty. It also was pretty easy to work with. Now the green looks all really, really liquid. It doesn't look as sticky as the other colors. So let's try that. It's very thick though. Uh, let's try to thin that out. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> That's more I was going for. I'm still a mess. <laughs> look at all this stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and try this blue that I really wanted. Major hella sticky. Yeah, I don't know. It just has more of a chalky look to it than I wanted. Now, as you can tell, the core paints are definitely highly pigmented. This purple is extremely dark. Uh, just getting it to something a bit lighter. I don't know, maybe I'm just not heavy enough on the water. When you look at my painting, I'm definitely pretty heavy on water. I'm going to go ahead and try to mix my own colors because that is not the kind of I guess teal color I wanted. And the green is now very overpowering to the blue. I don't know if I'm going to get what I want, but let's try. Just mix that up a little bit more. Okay, while I try to mix these colors, I'm going to apologize. We're at major allergy season for me. Like the cars are yellow, green with pollen, and they kind of look like that orange did when I first put it on there. Or sorry, the brown. And so I have a bit of a cough definitely sniffly taking medicine it doesn't seem to matter now I do kind of like this blue uh, again the colors are just really overpowering each other so I'm having a hard time mixing the colors I actually want at some point I'm gonna get some primaries and just work on color theory probably do that with you guys it just sounds fun also notice that in between while that was semi drying those colors were separating out really bad so here they are mixed in my palette and they separated. I'm going to go ahead and try out a little bit of my magenta with that uh, pearl orange and see what that gives us. Oh, I love that. Okay, see now that is a good, rich, pretty color. And you'll notice too that when I make my swatches, I do add a little like extra water at the end. I want to see how they do as far as that cauliflower effect and I want to have that recorded. This is the magenta with that purple. This is more the color I actually want. That other color is just not really one that I'm probably going to want to use as often. But anyway, this is kind of kind of cool. I like the swatches. You can see they're semi-dry. And I'm going to go ahead and paint with them. This is my Strathmore. It's 5x7. These are hot press peepers. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just tape this down. I'm just using basic washi tape. I usually use the green frog tape, um, but sometimes it tends to tear a bit more, even if I rub it against like jeans or something first. And we're just going to sketch. I really have no idea what I'm doing here. <clears throat> here, I guess I'll do a snail. A mushroom and a snail. I love snails. I think they're cute. They're totally freaking cute. And so let's get that sketched in there. I think we need another little mushroom, so I'm going to put another one here. I don't want to make this too complicated because I do want to yeah, go ahead and paint this while we're here. We're just going to try out these paints together. I'm going to try some of my favorite techniques too. <clears throat> one of them is this line and wash. So basically washes the paint with lined artwork. So let me go ahead and line all of these with my Micron. And again, I'm trying to lose my voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Um, like I said, I also work customer service, so I talk a lot. And I think by the end of the week, my voice says, Nah, we're just not really feeling it. And it, it abandons me. Uh, especially right now. I'm trying something a little different with my signature there. But let's see. Let's go ahead and start the paint. I'm using... It's a very basic practice brush set. Uh, the reason being, A, it's really cheap. Uh, B, I want to figure out what brush sizes I would actually like to use in the future. Uh, so this is a Grace Art practice brush set. has a lot of different sizes in there to try. 
All right, and let's go ahead now. I, I laid in a few colors. I added a little bit of salt. <clears throat> and these are the big crystals of salt because I just kind of like what they do. I do need to see how this reacts to salt. And I did not let most of my background stuff dry first. <clears throat> and this is just the basic first wash of color. Uh, I do want to try to get, like I said, I love to do the whole blooming out and I wanted to try that out on the stems. Put in some of that orange. That orange is really, really pretty. I do like that. So we're going to go ahead in here. I'm going to try with that teal. Okay, it looks a little better on paper than it did whenever I was mixing it. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. It's very light, though. These are very light washes. Uh, you will see again, I didn't... I'm not really worrying about... Uh, letting stuff dry before I move in with the next color because we don't need no stink in our rules. Can't tell us what to do. Yes, it is bleeding out a little bit around the edges. That will be okay, I promise. Uh, I will make it work for me. And I'm just going to keep layering some colors because so far with the green and blue background, I'm just not digging the colors that I'm getting here. I'm going to try, I don't know what to do with this. That to me that looks like Christmas. Um, it's the magenta with the green, <coughs> totally bleeding out around the edges. Let's let that dry a little. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the snail a little. I know some of him is off the camera, sorry about that. I am five foot two. It's actually really hard for me to move my overhead camera sometimes or to see what it's focused on. Um, I use a little window in it to focus. Let's see if I can fix this mushroom a little more with some purple. I'm really trying everything I can to make me like these mushrooms um, and to bring the colors together. So I'm going to try to do like a little bit of a spotted or splotching with this purple here. I also don't want it to look weird against that snail. Yeah, I'm just... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a little frustrated with these paints. This is just my first impression. Maybe maybe I'll like them more as I go along. But so far, I'm having a really hard time with them. I'm not as impressed with them as I want to be. So let's just see. Let's make this a little richer. Okay, maybe we're starting to get to something I kind of like a little more. Because that pinkish purple with the green and the brown isn't doing as bad with the blue in the background. Okay, I'm liking the shell at least. It's a little blended in more than I want it to be. But we're going to work with that afterward. And this is kind of how painting goes for me. I completely cannot stand most of what I'm doing while I'm doing it because you have to layer so much with watercolor. You don't know what you're going to get at the end don't know why I just chose blue, but okay, well, I guess it works. Yeah, let's do more texturing here, more splotches. Don't know what I feel about that deep blue now, but I've done it, so there you go. But let's go ahead and wipe off this now dried salt. I totally am going to have to vacuum later. I really hate to think of how much salt is around my desk. So yeah. <clears throat> so in my effort to make this something that I actually enjoy more, I'm going to come in with my polychromos now. And this is where I like to add a little depth. I was originally not going to do that because I wanted to have it be just the pure core colors. But I also want a finished piece that I like. So we're doing it. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little better. go. Yeah, see, the background is actually coming out really nice and rich. I do like that now, a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just going to use, uh, I use some of the Gamsol and I just blend it. You've seen that in a couple of my videos if you've ever seen me before. It just makes it go into the watercolor and it gets rid of a lot of the graininess that you'll otherwise have. Let's go ahead with my little jelly roll pen. 
I do like to add little designs and stuff in white. Like I said, I told you I was going to work on that shell. So that's what I did here. I also wanted to make it a little bit of a globe around his uh, little antenna things. And this is originally what I wanted to do, with little splotches um, on the mushrooms. See, when you start adding in those details, it really does help. But you'll also find I've lost a lot of the definition I originally had with the pen, and that's on that black lines. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now. Just coming right back in. All I'm doing is just outlining a little bit of this. Yeah, so this is a review and a paint along all at one time. Yeah, see there, it stands out a lot more. Yeah, I I think we're getting there. Uh, put in a little more leaves of the grass. Kind of highlight a little of the freestyle paint I did here. And let's take that tape off. I think we're done. See, I do like this. It doesn't rip it up as much. Washi tape is so, you know, cheap. Um, you can get it on Amazon, of course, in the big bunches. You can also get small rolls off of Wish. Uh, don't get a lot of stuff off of Wish, but this kind of thing I will. It's the stationary stuff. So yeah, my mushroom and snail is complete. And just taking a look at this, my overall thing is I hated them to start with. They're sticky. It leaked all over me. Was not happy about that, but in the end, with a little bit of an addition of my pencils and my inks, I actually like it. So you can kind of take a look at this up close. The colors in the high chroma set really don't go together very well unless you do a lot of mixing. But here she is.